What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are doing an MLS tier list with the 2024 jerseys for this upcoming season, even though it started yesterday and our our teams play on Saturday. So yep. today's video, we got my good friend, Tyler, Charlotte FC fan. What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, you guys might know him from the uh, previous vlogs. Go check that out as well. So um, how this is going to work, we're going to do my tier list first, and then we're going to do his tier list next. So you get both perspectives of everything. So we'll get right into the video. Sit back, relax, and yeah, we're going to have a good time. Cool. My first. Here we go. My first kit, the Atlanta United kit. It has gotten mixed reviews this whole since it got released. So I'm going to put it in nice. Just okay. because it is growing on me. That's my reason. It's growing on me. And um, I think that they could have done yellow with the Phoenix. You know? Mm -hmm. Do you, you agree with yeah. me on that? Yeah. Uh, that Phoenix definitely is something I've heard as kind of controversial for sure. Some I've heard, even heard one person. He didn't even know. He didn't even know what that was. He didn't even see it was a Phoenix. So I think the the only thing about that that might be confusing is where the crest is and it's like kind of on the phoenix face that might be kind of what got lost but i agree with you what you're talking about uh, yeah yeah that's that, that's what my thing is if it was maybe like popped out a little bit but i think looking back on the players it does look really nice so that's why yeah. i put it in it's not very good yet i was going to be like you know super biased and put one of the top ones but there are a lot of good <laughs> jerseys here and there's a lot of good jerseys here that are a lot better than, than this one. So Austin FC is next. They're the like armadillo the kit. I do like it. Yeah, I like the armadillo kit. I'll, I'll place a better picture so you guys can see it on screen. But I do like the green on the sides. It little, it's very clean. But I'm going to put nice as well. Because okay. there's a lot of good jerseys in this mix. So maybe I'll move them around later. But I have really no I'm say, it does, it looks I, really clean. I do like it. It is something different. But somebody did kind of like confirm something was like, we're used to Austin kind of doing something crazy, especially with their green. This is kind of more laid back. So yeah. it's still it's still it's still nice. Like I like it, but it's like on the low end of nice going into meh for me. I'm basing my rankings off what I like, but also what does it look like on the players as well. Like what's yeah. the Wayne United kit? It does look good on players. So that's why I put it in nice. Uh, next one is Montreal. Uh, last year's ranking, they didn't have a jersey in time, so I never got to no. rank their last year's jersey. So finally, they actually put one in for in time, and I'm putting it straight to bad because I don't like it. I like it because of, I mean, I like blue, but I'm not gonna like be like that. Be that premise of it. I think what's kind of getting me is the the kind of the stripe a little bit. It's not just like a basic stripe. It's kind of like kind of jagged in a way. So it's it's a little it's a little nice, but I feel like it, they could have done something better. Next one, Charlotte FC. This is your team. Yes. All I got to say, it is a little bit worse than mine. But oh, that's crazy. Let me crazy. have my reaction. Hmm. Let me have my reasoning, and I might change it in a second based on like later. But okay. Uh, if it was blue, so like it, you know, it's blue in the back, right? If it was white with blue letters, but it, it would have been a, like a nice, very good. But I feel like it'd have more mountain knee. Because I know this is based on the blue mountains or something or something mountain. Uh, I'll it. tell you my reason. I'll tell you my reasoning why I like it. it. You're gonna you're gonna know more of my explanation why. I, yeah, why I, oh, I'm gonna really leave it there for now, man. I like my I like the others better than this one. For me, I, this I, is my only reasoning is that back back thing. So yes, it's called the Carolina Kid Explorer. It's supposed to be like a symbol of. The Blue Ridge Mountains, but it's also kind of the ocean too, because it's on the coast, like because it's you know where hmm. the land coast. So the bottom blue is like the ocean, and then when you moving up, so the two blues in the center is more of like the mountain range. Like when you look in the distance, how it kind of gets lighter when you look in the distance, and then the top is the sky. Um, so the reason why, I, because I remember we had we had this conversation when it first came out and it got leaked and stuff. Uh, I like the back of it being blue and then obviously with the white letters it works because it's like our main color is blue we need to kind of have more charlotte's kind of trying to uh find more of an identity because like so far we only have four kids that come out we need more of our identity like obviously atlanta united atlanta united has the five stripes 
y'all have something that y'all are identified as and i'm i mean i'm kind of i'm in i'm picking this statement like i'm i'm you know i'm give credit where where is due i got this from here in like top bin 90 from his podcast because i heard they were talking about jersey charlie's trying to find an identity this is one of those things where i like it it seems very unique compared to like this that's the old carolina kit back there like it's arsenal just in blue honestly that's literally what it is arnold but yeah. um this kit is definitely one that when i look at the rest is different so yeah i'm gonna place it there i'm very sorry about that but i don't think i think this year there'll be more jerseys in the very good to met area instead of bad and top ones because last year they they came up with a lot of bangers oh we're always going to go through it and show you yeah. guys all so chicago's next um, big carvana no, big playing. carvana you know big ups yeah. that's where my first car came from so uh, my little <laughs> honda civic my blue honda civic uh i'm gonna put this in may as well just because i don't like this across the big I... lights and it's the same thing is gonna probably be for other ones right here but i don't like the big white around it so i agree and it's kind of funny because um, I know that Nashville has the same thing, but I, I yeah. definitely think Nashville lower. I like the idea of them trying to, you know, go into that secondary color of red, trying to do something different. I do like it. Um, it kind of... Nice, yeah, yeah, the way it from last year is nice, and it definitely looks better now that they actually have a sponsor to go across the front of it, because when we first saw it, we are just like, you know, it was just like, oh, Adidas, Crest, nothing. Plain. Flex, but flex. now that they have, like, <laughs> this, it looks... The, the kit looks better. Colorado Rapids. I need to look at it closer yeah. a little bit. Uh, it's called the One Flag Kit. So it's I like thing. the design on this. So I'm putting very good. Okay. Probably controversial. Who knows? Colorado Rapids. But I like the checkered and the red. I like the design on, on it. But red looks good on me. And, you know, with the five stripes. So I know it's not like our red, but it's maroon red. But I like it. So that's my reasoning. Don't come at me. So. I put it in nice. I think it is a, but it's gonna be an upper tier nice. Um, I think Actually, it, you might be right there because now I'm looking at the ones and there are better ones. See, I was going for nice. I mean, you can you can put a lot because it's not like we said in the, like we didn't put like numbers here. We didn't be like you know top one is like you know D one and then like very good as like two through. I put 10. better than ours. I put I put better than ours. But like that's why I was doing that first, but uh, yeah, because I'm looking at it now and there's a lot of nicer ones, cleaner ones. I think yeah. the checkers is like is a it's it looks cool and I think I think it's gonna kind of give like an illusion because now I'm trying to picture of is like if the player's moving in it I think it's gonna kind of give like an illusion of maybe because it is a yeah, bunch of like squares all over. yeah like he's yeah look a booboo car if he's still on the team man I'm like, Ugh, like I'm just saying like we'll if he's it, on the team oh, uh, but like um yeah I, that, it's it's up for nice for me that's where no next we've got. The Charlie Brown kit himself. Uh, this is going bad for me. <laughs> no, nah, bro. I, no, I cannot do that. I, I'm no, sorry. I'm putting it back. That, I don't that like is, it. That is like, that is very good for me. Because I like, I think when you can take a kit and make a joke out of it, just like I did with the, like a bunch of Charlotte fans were doing it with our Crown Jewel kit. Because it looks like the Wild Berry Pop-Tart. I think it looks good. And then, you know, obviously they did the, the pattern fits well around, you know, why <laughs> so so like i think it's it works out so good i i mean i like it i just think it's funny because every time i see it, i'm gonna think of you know charlie brown peanuts man where's snoopy at like i like the kit that's it's just gonna be it. it's gonna be a meme once we play them on saturday which we will get the dub but i'll talk about that later in the video mm -hmm. next we got dc united i'm gonna put this in very good for the design you can't see it right now. I'll post a picture up right uh, uh, as we speak. But I like the little designs on it that goes back and forth. So I'm putting that in very good. Yeah, it's okay. So the icon. It goes well with the cherry blossom kit. The uh, cherry blossom kit that they have. The pattern is the pattern is nice. I will give I will give it that. But I think they don't um, have an identity. So anyway, so like you know, like you're telling us our five stripes. They just yeah, have, it's it's, it's kind of. It's like, yeah, you're kind of trying to find an identity. And I was like, especially for a team that's obviously won, you know, the MLS Cup several times. Like, I and especially, like, I, I know there's got to be history behind the crest. Like, it's like an eagle or, you know, type of, some type of bird. It looks like a bird or a phoenix. I don't know. I don't want to be mistaken. So, no, no, United, no DC United fans, don't come at me. 
because I, I don't know y'all history like that. I'm sorry, but like I definitely, you know, I don't know how they feel about it. I haven't seen them, but it is it is a cool kit, but I just it's more mid mad to me. Next, and it's gonna be a, a, a little like this is gonna Ooh, be a this is this is a contra- this one is actually a controversial kit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I've seen. I mean, there's a. I've been saying it to Tyler. I've been saying it to everybody, everybody else. The white kits for some of them are bad. Just a plain white kit, no design. Like I, I get it. You guys, Cincinnati has stuff on the sides, but come on, a plain white kit with no lines or something, or or some at least something on it. I don't like it. And I mean, some of them, some of these do have lines on them, and I'll probably put them in bad. But for me, visually, I don't like it. The kit's nice. I got to see what it looks like on the side because especially what I like to do now that I've gotten into uh, MLS and trying to get more into like, you know, football slash soccer, you know, whatever. It's your football. Is. Look, hey, look, I'm just trying to I'm trying to please every crowd at this point. You know, <laughs> um, I like looking at like the promotion videos to see kind of like what is the like what inspired it. Next one, we got FC Dallas. I've talked to some friends about this when this when it first came out. Based on the picture, it has like, you know, it's a gradient, obviously, but it has like the block gradient. You can see the physical lines when it, when it yeah, turned yeah. into like another color. But I'm going to go into meh here just because of that. You can see the block. I haven't seen them on players yet. I mean, maybe I've seen like, I think I've seen one picture of Jesus Ferreira wearing mm-hmm. it. At, at least top wise, it looks nice. Bottom wise, uh, I don't like it. And it's I, weird because the Atlanta Falcons literally have a kit that's the gradient kit, and I like that one, but this is different. Which I'm sick. let me show. Let me show you real quick. This man, you it's blurry because you got the little portrait. Oh, I do have the port. Do you see it now? It, it came through a little bit. Okay, we'll, I, we'll get a picture. We'll, we'll get a picture because I forgot that I had the blur background. Actually, watched the uh, kit ranking, and this guy was a Dallas fan, and he was like, "Bruh, he's like this. This kit was made for children." <laughs> Like he no, he he dead serious. He was like, it's literally like, okay, we know our colors are blue and red, and then we're in the middle of looking at purple. We're just trying to teach them how what colors are now at this point. Like that's, that's funny. <laughs> and so I, I sat there, I was like, dang, you know, at, at first, like I looked at it, I was like, yeah, bro, I like I like the gradient, like it's cool. I think if it was turned, if it was more vertical, where it was more like like going down. Yeah, the blue was on the bottom where it's like, okay, that's the ground. And then the red is the afterburner, like y'all shooting up because. But then also, I'm. Oh, that would have been sick though, because they it have red top down. going into purple and then the shorts are purple too. Something like, yeah, something like that. Like, that would have probably worked better. Next up, we have the uh, uh, Houston Dynamo, which is the fake Orlando City jersey, because for some reason they picked up purple jersey. Didn't know purple was one of their colors, but right. it looks clean. It looks clean. It's not top one. It's not very good. Actually. Hmm. It I'm not gonna lie. Good. I'm gonna just tell you, it's a mid-man for me. Mid-man. Um, I think we're not looking at them. I'm about to say, is I right, look, 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 look. Like I said, this is yours. This is yours. I yeah. I'm we'll I'm, get I'm to yours in a second. Um it's mid-man for me. Um because the purple is it is nice the purple is nice i gave i give it but it's like like i said it's going to be at the upper tier where it could bunch in top of but i think it wasn't like something i was kind of expecting from them because they're like some of their past kits have been like pretty good and like this one it was just like i maybe need to see another close-up picture eventually um but like like i said the purple is nice i give it to them the purple is nice but it's just like, I feel like it wasn't the identity I was looking for. And it's kind of hard to kind of do it. But if I was going to kind of put it in nice, it would be around like that Atlanta United next to Atlanta United. Because it's like one of those things is like you look at the color, oh, yeah. you know, associate the color with the team. So now you're kind of like trying to figure out how do you in your head sit there and you feel about it. I forgot. I got to put up Atlanta United. I can't disrespect my, my, my team. But Atlanta United is always first and nice. <laughs> I know you. When we get to yours, you can have your more. You have a more in-depth explanation for this, but this one is very good to me, and I hate that you. That, I mean, I don't hate, but it's terrible about what you're gonna put for this. But this, this is going one, in bad. I love. I, I love the color pink. Like pink looks very good. Like I have the. Uh, I have some some nice pink clothes that look fashionable. Nice pink looks good. And pink and black looks good. I like the vice colors from Miami. So they got the black home jersey and the pink 
away jersey, it looks nice. Especially last night when I when we got to watch them against or else I'll like yesterday. Um, next we have LAFC's pinstripes jerseys. Big ups to my guy JC if you're watching this video. LAFC did nice on this one. They're gonna do top one. Love that color. I love the pinstripes, and I usually do not like pinstripes like in baseball, but LAFC's jerseys have been fire besides last year's. We don't kind of, we don't talk about last year's mold kit, mold kit, but they had the great Gatsby jersey, and their first ever kit was really nice. But you but with YouTube TV as their sponsor, but I put that as my top one. I don't think it's S. It's S. No, but no, no, dude, no disrespect to LAFC or you know JC. Like I, I remember how he was talking about it when we played with him and stuff. But I was like, when I looked at it, I was like, it is nice. Like I was like, it's yeah. nice. But it's a it, fashionable it, jersey. It just didn't hit for me to have put it in like S tier compared to like the ones that I do have in S tier. Next we have LA Galaxy, and like I said earlier, I hate the white. I don't know, hate's a strong word. I don't really like the white kits that much. But this one has some design on it, like not like the others did. So I'm gonna put this one in mene, mene, mene. It's one of these. I put it in nice. It's one of the. I'm gonna put this. Okay, we'll put this light, last and nice, but close to meh because it's white, and and it's white, and but it has some design on it. The, the explanation is probably very very terrible, but that's mine. I don't got no explanation either. <laughs> I mean, like, I just like it. Yeah, that's I, about it. it, it it's, it's nice in May. Yeah. If I go do a middle, that's what that that's what that would be. We have Minnesota United. This is by far the best jersey in MLS history, no doubt and about now, it. Now they have the best duo <laughs> this season. <laughs> they 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 have the yeah. Last year I know I put this up high. I loved it. The Northern Lights jersey. They're awake it. Now they have literal space or the stars, whatever it is. Literally stars as a jersey. That is, even though they might do terrible this season, they have they're rocking the best two kits in the league. Right yeah, now. and look, yeah. we might be rocking these in pro clubs. I'm not gonna cap. Oh, pro clubs about to be lit with these when they add them. Yeah, the we might be rocking these in pro clubs. Now. Next up, we have Nashville. Nashville, man. Um, I'm gonna put this in May as well with Chicago. I don't like the big block is stripe and. I know this is upper, not as central as Chicago. That's why I put it behind Chicago. I feel like, I don't know, you can't, they're they're known as the highlighter, high, they have highlighter yellow. I don't know what else you could do with that. Maybe add a guitar for Music City or something like that. I just don't like the top. I think, um, and this is probably one that I definitely compare like their last, the kit that they have, the, the, the men black, in black. Oh, the, the, the black, black one, one yeah. is like such a solid one. And then it's like, how do you make something that kind of contrasts that? Like I, I didn't. I don't think. I think based on last year's video, I have to look back at it. I'll probably put a clip here, but I didn't like. I don't think. I don't think I liked. The, the black uh, one was cool because, like, and this this one, and I understand because, like, I know a lot of these kids are meant to like try to get the embody the city as well. Last year's kid did good because it was based off of like definitely music. music. This one I think is based off the area code because it's called the six one five kit or the six fifteen or you know you know six hundred fifteen. You did your research. I did not. Hey, look, man, I told you I have like a list of all the names of the kits because I want to be able to like re reference the kit exactly. Um, I know this is like an area code, so I know like for some Nashville fans, obviously they're gonna get this because it represents you know your city. But when I look at it, I'm like I'm comparing it to like last year and even like the previous. It just doesn't move me when I look at it. And I know they probably like, well, your Charlotte kid doesn't move, move me. Okay, understand. <laughs> Fine. But it, it's, it's just, yeah, it's just not hitting me. New England Revolution. Um, <laughs> the Boston Tea Party! The Boston Tea Party jersey! <laughs> but I'm putting this in very good. Yeah, I thought yes. they looked good. I, I I'm agree. Putting it very good. I, I like it a lot. I'm going to put it actually above DC United. Because I like the little dots. Yes, they're, they're, they're not even regular stripes. They're polka dot stripes. Like, they... Yeah. they they did a they did a really right, right, good job. Blue. This is a very good kit to kind of com like to kind of counteract. I think that's very good. It's pretty. It's pretty Boston, New England area. That's a pretty good kit to embody the city. Yeah, that's that's that deserves being very good. Next we have New York City FC. Uh, these these two New York ones about to be amazing, but I'm putting this in very good because I love the black on it and I like the orange and blue on each side of the of the like. 
is literally if you split it in half, you got blue on one side and orange on one side. It is very clean to me. And I haven't seen it on worn on players yet, but from the pictures that I've seen on MLS for uh what's it called? Like people wearing it, it looks like a, a fashionable jersey, like the 404 kit. That's why I'm putting that in very good. This is the yang of Cincy right here. Like this is the kit that everybody looked at and was like you and Cincy had the same kind of idea and this is now who did it better because one did it with white and the other one did it with black this is one of those like i said because I, I might have to rearrange my my whole thing now but this is yeah, one of those we'll, that we'll, can go we'll, from we'll from good to very good like it's just it's, it's just one of those now we've got one of the best freaking new york jerseys that i've seen which i i was thinking about this for our next home jersey but New York Rebels, you're going into top ones. Very, very good because I love the zigzag. And I was telling friends around, um, my friends about this, just like the next Atlanta United jersey. What else could we do with stripes? My idea was like AC Milan zigzag. And you know how it's like a little bit faded, but then New York Rebels come out with this. And it's basically the same thing. It's clean. It's freaking yeah. so good. Like it deserves to be in top ones. They they might be a semi good mid table team, but like, but unlike Minnesota, they might be winning more games, and that's why they're gonna be showing off these special jerseys all season. Like I do like the design. I like everything about it. This is you know the kit name is the Legacy Kit, so I understand the the reason why they did this. But I, in my opinion, I like the kit. That's but it's, it, yeah, it's up there for me. Yeah, that, I, I put that in very good though. I put that in yeah. very. Good. Next we have Orlando City. Yes, they might be my rival, but they have a meh kit because it is another white kit with some stuff on the sides like Cincy. But the only thing why it's not in bad is because the crest looks very cool. So they're putting it in mid meh, but we're putting it out of here. So it's like close to bad, but it's in mid mid slash meh meh because the crest looks very nice. Like the crest looks very nice. So. That's the I only reason. I put this in nice, and it really is because the Chris is carrying it. Cause, so and, I, I, and I, and I honestly, I honestly hope that they they continue to use that crest that they used to use when they were in the USL. Cause apparently yeah, that's cause that's you know that's their third throwback kit. Cause that is a nice kit. You know you have. But a I will continue to keep putting the clown face on, clown face on it when we when we play them. Hey, look, in March 17th. Y'all, hey, look, y'all have y'all rivalry with them. Charlotte has, well, I want a short one with Nashville because Nash, I got a problem with Nashville. You got a problem with Honey Mukhtar. That's what that's, that's yeah, what it too. is. <laughs> but, uh, you know, everybody wants, like, the rivalries that they talked about, obviously, is us in Atlanta because, you know, kind of, we're also close in, you know. You only beat us once. No, the, the record's tied. Huh? The record is tied. It's 2 2. That's crazy. Oh we, yeah, we did. God, we, we, we lost at home. We y'all have beaten us in Charlotte. We beat you in Charlotte, and we beat y'all in Atlanta. And y'all beat us in Atlanta. So it's tied. It's two two. But yeah, I, um, I get the kid to go to that one. I was working that one. But yeah, like I know they want to talk about us. You know Nashville and also DC because that was the first team we played when we first came in the league. But back to Orlando's. Yeah, their their whole legacy kit. I the crest is what kind of like did it because it was like a good throwback crest for me that's why i mm. kind of put it nice um philadelphia union their snake kit i'm already putting this very good i love how this looks snake. i love the snake skin that goes straight through the center yes the crest is in the center but the snake skin skin it goes very it goes very well with their mascot i'll pop it up here boom boom yeah. bam somewhere, um, yeah. somewhere like that you know but the snake skin is clean i put it over dc because it has a design a little bit but um yeah this is definitely s tier for me this one i put behind charlotte but it is an s tier for me how they did something with the alignment and stuff and then have a design with that that's kind of look good and when i looked at it first thing i was like oh that's a nice one i if i had the money i would probably cop it i don't yeah if they weren't 200 dollars. yeah know. like man with that whole look that jersey because there's a whole apple look apple tv patch on that sleeve that's why i went up a whole 30 compared to this one. Oh, i don't have I don't have sleeves. I don't yeah, have look, look, look. You know, I ain't going over there for that. I ain't going to get it. But, yeah, you see, there ain't no Apple TV on this sleeve right here. There's one over there. That's why that one costs a little more than this one. 
But we <laughs> that's a whole different conversation for another day. Portland Timbers, they always they always go do well with their jerseys. They're just like the Portland Thorns. They leaves, roses, beautiful. Um, yes, it's a white jersey, but it is better than some, and I like it. So it's gonna go right above Austin's and nice. It's, it's kind of like following that green right there. Yeah, but they're, yeah, they're close. Yeah, <laughs> but I like it's, it's a little bit empty in the middle, but I do like the little leaves on the sides of it. That's why I put it at nice. This one is my this was my other S tier in front of Charlotte. <laughs> wow. Yes, um, I understand what you mean by kind of being empty in the middle, but I think what it makes up for it was on the ribs and on the inside with the leaves kind of arounding because and their kit name like it, it embodies the nature unites us so it's like you're in you're in the middle of nature within itself so like that's why i, I was like yeah i'll advertise it like i see what y'all doing there i don't know who's part of y'all creative team i don't know you know who's talking to adidas and like yeah we need to do that's i like it and that's why it's an s tier so yeah that was the one that i would say that is like second so it'll be for me it's like minnesota portland charlotte and then it'll be philly we have Real Salt Lakes. Rest in peace to their loss to Miami yesterday. Um, <laughs> I'm going to put Real Salt Lake as very good. Yes. A I lot agree. of people hated this one on Twitter, but I love the mountains. Obviously, maybe it looks like Barcelona colors, but I love the mountains on it. And it just looks very nice. This and is the start colors of, of the Utah mountains. So. This is the stock market jersey. This is the, 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 the New York Exchange jersey. New York Exchange. It, is, it is exactly. Uh, no, I liked it, and their promotion for this jersey, this this kit was great. Especially like when they're showing pictures of the uh, the players wearing it. Then they had like the outline of a mountain kind of behind it to the kind of match. So it's it's pretty good. You know, it embodies what Utah is, which is mountains when you go out there pretty much so yeah i know i i enjoy that kit we got san jose earthquakes their their anniversary kit and they're using their old school their old school thing and going straight to straight to bed i don't care if it's an old school i don't care if it's an, an anniversary for me i don't like it because it's not their colors that's actually this is weird because it we used to be their colors it used we're to not, yeah it used to be the colors but we're not always weird not wearing it. i just don't like it because it's plain Playing with red. I'll um, put it over this though. Put it over Cincinnati. Cincinnati is the worst one, but San Jose is bad for me. Um, I like, I you know, I, I think it's kind of funny because especially somebody would be like, I made this the same kind of case for like Orlando. I do like the old school crest. Like when you see, I don't like, new, I don't like old school crest it, it, It's nice because it's like retro. Because like sometimes you like to see a good retro and you're trying to see like how can they, you know, implement all this. Maybe it's just somebody was like, it's probably the sponsor that also makes it look bad. That's <laughs> across the front. Yeah. But it's it, like a barcode. Yeah. It's just kind of like when you look, when I look at it, I'm like, uh, San Jose, like y'all, the earthquakes. I want more of either you kind of do something with earthquakes, makes, I don't know, like you could have made a sound wave like kit or something. I don't know, like their 50th anniversary kit, 50 years. Congratulations, yeah. by the way. But, um, they still suck. <laughs> like, yeah, y'all, y'all won before the league hit like probably like twenty teams at this point. <laughs> I'm gonna but, catch so many strays or of common people. Yeah, like, look, look, man. look. I can't say nothing, man. We don't got a star yet. We ain't got a star. I can't say nothing. Star a second year. We about to get another one this season. All right, now we have uh the most disgusting slash kind of looks good on players slash kind of hurt some eyes. Um, the Seattle kit with their new crest, love the new crest. Little, it's simplistic and it's very, it's very nice. But I'm gonna have to put this in mid May. Um, I'm gonna put this in between Chicago and because part of me likes it, part of me doesn't like it, and the colors just hurt my eyes. So it's putting in May, and basically in my mid May section we have some color in there instead of all like all the whites. Seattle does a good job with vibrant colors, you know. And I mean when yeah. we look at the teams that play in that city, they're known for kind of being like this vibrant green and stuff. So it, it does a good job. And especially like now you kind of see that kit and it's kind of partnered with like the Bruce Lee, like dragon kit. It's, it's oh, going to be yeah, kind of like, yeah, that. it's 
I think the only thing that I do not like about Seattle was them changing their crest. It's that's about the only thing. I don't know why they changed it, but it's a good logo. It, it, it was like it went simplistic, and then when you look at it, I think the only thing that bothers me, which I know this is the coming from us talking about kids, the crest. Like when I look at the crest and it compared to everybody else in the league, it feels out of place a little bit. Overall, the kit I like it. It's a very good, but it could uh, some days if, if I look at, it, I might be like, it's just a nice kit. So it's kind of teetering between that very nice, nice, you know, within that kind of yeah. Thing. Um, next we have SKC and their quilt. I'm calling this their quilt kit because all the diamonds on it. Um, diamonds are forever. Yeah, but it's better than what they've been doing recently with all the hoops on their jerseys. Yeah, I'm gonna put this in, I'm gonna put this in nice. That's the reason why I'm gonna put this in nice. I'm gonna put it above Portland behind Colorado. It's better than the hoops because I know SKC fans have been getting tired of the hoops every single year. Yeah, Big, different variations of hoops. Now they gotta. This probably got a good one. too, but uh, the diamonds. Are nice. Oh, it is. It is. It is another yeah. anniversary oh. kit. Um, this one I like this kit, and then especially the, the. Hey, look! I don't know how much money y'all paid for y'all promotion video for y'all to have like use like a little bank safe to get in that and all that. That was cut. That was smooth. Some stuff in Kansas City. There is somewhat like diamond. I, I think diamonds or something is, is supposed to be a part of their thing or something in Kansas City or within Sporting KC itself. Um, so yeah, I, I I like this kit for sure. I do like this kit. Next up, we have St. Louis City, downgraded massively. Um, another bad white kit with nothing on it. It does have something on it. It's just hard to see. That's the problem. That's the problem. That's the problem. But it's still bad, <laughs> regardless. It's it, still bad. It, yes, so see me putting all the white kits in, t- in bad. When you look at it, and I'm pretty sure if it's not an up close picture somewhere, it's hard to see. Like they're supposed to be, like you see on like the on my on my neck, the collar, it's like waves. It's, yeah. But it's like these type of waves, but they're gray. If these waves were more of like their pink, I think it would go higher for sure. Um, I cause yeah, that definitely was like a stinker for me. It's just because I I looked at it. I was like, I try to get my best analysis out there. And I was like, it, the wave, it's, you just can't see the wave. It's kind of can't see anything. Like, yeah, it's kind of hard to see it. So I'm, putting, I, I'm sorry to cut you off, but I'm just gonna get this out of the way too. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a stinker too. Because yeah, <laughs> I, cause I it, look, I like it. Also for Toronto, I like the vision. I I get it. You're the team of multiple. Like you have a bunch of global players, and <laughs> that's what it's supposed to be. But the fact that you see that is you, I know you can't probably see it, but he's gonna do a bigger picture. There's that big old gray badge there that makes no sense on your stomach. It just, I don't know. Hey, last, last year's kit was terrible. This is even worse. Oh my god! I was like, this is this. I was like, what am I looking at? I was like, I see the vision. Like it's hold on. The name of it is called the Global Toronto Area. I get it. You got international players coming in. That's not how you represent your players. You're not winning. <laughs> you got international players coming in. You're still not way, winning games. You're last in the league. You got Insignia uh, and Bernadette on your team. Yep. You're still not doing anything with it. St. Louis and Toronto are the same wave. I get the you know what? behind it. Cincinnati's better than both of them. Get out of here. Like, <laughs> no, bro, this is so terrible. All right. We'll go to the final one. We got Vancouver. I personally love this and i personally love their their crest so i'm putting this in very good above i'm gonna put I... this here it is i like the color i think it's black or it's blue I'm it's, color- no, it's, it's a it's a dark navy blue i'm colorblind so i can't really see that but um it's a dark um, navy I'm putting blue this in very good. it's like gold accent it it looks nice it looks very sleek so now that that's where I can be like, I might take this out of mid man, put it in nice because it, it does have a nice look to it. it. It it's not something like it's like yeah, it's simple, and this might be the only jersey that is simple that actually just looks nice because it's not you know white or black. Like we're not using no hues, we're using a color, and then the gold. I think the gold is obviously you know achievement. Like anniversary, mm-hmm. you think of something anniversary. You think of something shiny. That gold is something that I think is a so. I'm gonna take. I would take that out of mid man and put it in nice because just because of that. So this is my tier list. We're gonna hop over to Tyler's, and then we're gonna start doing his. Here's mine. Um, like I said, from his, I would definitely move this to good. So just to let everybody know, this is not in like 
based off of you know my ranking of how i like it this is i kind of went in alphabetical order so that's why atlanta's the first one here charlotte's the first one up there blah 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 i just kind of put in stuff of what i feel it is now my explanations of why so obviously i kind of hit on these explanations especially for this but miami reason why i would definitely put like miami back here i look at it, it looks like a pre-match top and then when i'm comparing it to kits such as you see up here with portland and philly they've added something of like more texture. And the reason why, like when I look at Miami, it's nothing wrong with it being pink or the alignment of it. I look at them just like, this is very simple. And it's just kind of like, there's nothing more to it. Like to me, I wanted to see more of like that design where you got something more interesting. So like it's Miami, put some palm trees or something like that. Or now that you have I'm a new- I think had that in the, in the last kit. Flamingos are palm trees. I think it was more like some type of waves or circles or something in that black one or something. Or that I don't know what's in the pink. It might have been a concept kit then. Um, but like for this, when they first I saw the first leak at it, I was like, I was like something. It just didn't fit sit right with me. It just hasn't sit right with me. And like obviously, I know a lot of people like this kit. And you know, obviously, my my point of view is going to be like you like this kit because of the main player that's that's wearing it, number ten. That's the reason why you like this kit, and that's why you're nah, it. Really aggressive. That's that's my reason why. Yeah, like I think these I think these big these big household names like Jordi Al Alba, Luis Suarez, you know, Busquets and everything. You know, that's why. Um, let's see, Atlanta, uh, definitely still. I would put up it still it still deserves to be in the top for me i because i since you know lucas was able to tell me him and his brother luis were also telling me like what it was because i thought it was more of like a a hawk or a falcon because obviously you know the other atlanta teams but the phoenix but after seeing it the research i think the only thing that's kind of holds it back is obviously what we talked about earlier was the color which a lot of people was just like why blue like we get the yellow slash like gold, but the blue is kind of what kind of throws it off, and we kind of it's like you I would know, like kind of get something that I forgot to say. This will yeah. this jersey blue looks good on me. Just saying, blue looks good on me. Plus, you won't say that about any Atlanta United kid because look plus, at you. You didn't like the forest kid, and look what you're doing now. No, 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 no. This was on sale. Okay, that was the only reason I got it. All right, <laughs> the only reason I got it because on sale. That's the only thing, but. The blue, I have some yellow shorts, which I don't know if you see. You, no, I'm not gonna show you, but I'm wearing some purple shorts, like considered like for that. So, and now make sure you, now that I think about it, I'm gonna look like the Hulk because it's green and purple. Uh, but, but I have some yellow shorts, so I think they'll go really well with the yellow and then the blue on it. But it's growing on me. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get the 17 kit when it goes on sale too. Yeah, once that that check come in, man, trust me, I'm probably gonna get, I'm definitely getting that Charlotte kit. Up there. And I'm probably gonna get a new jersey since I changed my name. It's not Lucas Films anymore, so all my Atlanta United jerseys are screwed up. So, There's only one. There's only that one. All of them. The, everybody gone. Everybody oh, well, gone. Hey, look. I mean, I mean, Swerdersi's on the back of that one over there. I'm still be out, but gone. Miles Robinson gone. Lucas Films is dead. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like yeah, look, at this point, nothing on this gone. one and nothing on this one. My, now, my reasoning behind the LA, the LAFC being in very good. Um, they're going more in depth. All right, so yes, this is definitely way, way better than what they had last year. You know, whatever you want to say, mold, puke, whatever. Dark. I don't, you know, mustard, yeah, just trash. Um, because, I mean, they still got to wear those jerseys this year, which hopefully they don't wear them as much when we watch. But, no, this one is kind of like them saying, like, let's okay, let's go back to the basics a little bit. Let's do it. Obviously, they have a new sponsor, which now that's three teams in the league that have BMO as a sponsor on the <laughs> on the front. I like the, the look of this. It's, it's very, like, clean. It's very sleek. So, definitely, that would be more towards my top of tier two um, and everything and such as that. But, no, the jerseys this year – I like that there is, um, it shows more variety, and I'm I'm starting to understand more about certain uh you know clubs and you know everything because there's there's a bunch of like anniversary kits. You know what's crazy? Orlando gets an anniversary kit, and they've been in the league longer than us, but we've been in the league less than them, and we already got a chip. No, this is definitely my ranking. I I mean I, I like it. I know like when people look at it. I wasn't biased by line, but you know. I wasn't buying my jersey. I wasn't. No, I wasn't trying to be. I like. I don't know. I was no. If it was 
for real, if we were doing this last year, I'm gonna tell you, my crown jewel will be like low good to mid mid. It was not hitting with me. Like something about it, and like I know there's some. No, <laughs> this one felt like a such an upgrade from the previous Carolina kit, and I felt like now that it embodies what you know Charlotte FC is trying to do, especially trying to be you know your team team you know one team for two states you're trying to embody what's going on with both states but also the city of you know charlotte within itself i like like i said i like the charlie brown kit because i think it's funny I, it's just very comical <laughs> for me i think it's good i like how we're calling it charlie brown kit we're not calling it what yeah it like I, bro it, no it's 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 called the home kit i thought it would have had a better name but charlie brown no, kit is way better brown, than home brown, kit. Brown, <laughs> charlie to me but yeah like i think this would probably be around the hierarchy because like these three could be interchangeable because they're almost the same type of design but new england and red bulls is kind of like a different variation of the stripes because you know the dots on um i think the dots for new england is supposed to be kind of like the tea drip you know tea changing the the water or something i'm not sure i might be making that up don't, don't, cru- don't, yeah, don't, don't crucify me please don't crucify <laughs> um you know, Salt Lake embodying a little of their Barca feels with the colors, which is a good color. I like the color scheme. I like how it went and such. And, you know, seeing the mountain. That would, it, I wouldn't mind, you know, owning that either. Um, Seattle, you know, Seattle's like a very classic retro. This is something I definitely would embody a retro to be. Is I like how it looks. And then going into tier three, um, let's see. Tier three, I, like I said, like I said, these two, these would be interchangeable because as you see like they look like yin and yang to each other like it's it's one or the other it's it's just i guess it's just give or take like if you feel in a good mood then here you go where since if you feel in a bad mood you feel a little dark vigilante you know villain then i'll say put on new york city but like those would be like interchangeable like i will move skc up actually i i think because like i said i like the diamond look i think also because when i looked at their promotion video it was pretty well thought out because it was like oh we're going into you know our vault after it's been so many years let's see like let's see the history that this is great kit um then you have you know colorado who has had some misses a lot you know yeah they've had some misses it's crazy but this one this one's pretty good i like the details was going on in it and then this one is a very like when you look at their the other kit it's a very contrast like okay you got like their main color and then the other one's like the i forget what it is i, I think it's supposed to be like or like a sky their sky but it's like it looks like the yeah, it looks yeah, yeah. Like, yeah it's like it's those two jerseys look like a good contrast the simplistic of vancouver and then like obviously there's the gold that gives anniversary and then like this. all right tier four Armadillo kit leads very strong, but I, was, I wish there like every every kit. These are like these had the potential. Most of these yeah. had the potential to be good, but there's something about it that kind of just held them back. Because to be honest, it could have been like there could have been only one kit here in tier five, which we already know would have been Miami's together in this kit for me. But um, every one of these had something good. I think it's just more or less, I guess, the concept of what I think about it, obviously, and then obviously tier five. I don't like this kid at all from what they're doing. It's kind of weird. It's almost like they're wearing a sports bra now that I think about it. <laughs> like wearing like a bikini top. Not to be disrespectful, but like that. Um, I think for St. Louis, St. Louis, you have a good kid, but I think if you turn your waves, like you, I guess if you kind of, you have to kind of like zoom into the screen to kind of, you kind of see the waves kind of pop up yeah. on, the, on the kid. It's one of those like it's kind of it's gonna be hard to kind of see unless like the camera ma- the camera is like zoomed in on one of your players. But just like I said, this could have been a good kit with a good style. Could have been like very mid mad to it could have been good depending on how it looked. And then Toronto, I don't know what you're doing with these like all these little badges. You just and like obviously you see they maybe I can like uh, oh, I can't zoom in. I just moved it. I don't know where it went. Oh, actually, where did it go? What'd you do? I don't know. I lost it. I lost the kit. The kit just disappeared. Oh, there. <laughs> oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. I found it. I was hoping. I wish I could zoomed into it, but like they did a simplistic kit. Uh, not kit. Sim- well, it is a simplistic kit in a way, but they did a simplistic crest too for this one, which is is oh, it's decent, but it's just like 
your whole thing is just your badge just all over the place and the whole franchise is meh yeah i'm going out oh yeah i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding kidding. here here is my tier one two three four and five this is what i feel about all these teams so with that guys you should comment on which is better or what are your comments on each on each of us doing our little tier list and stuff but before i end this i want to ask tyler since our season our team season starts on saturday and i want to ask you another thing too so what is your prediction for charlotte whoever they play because i have no idea who do they play one who do they play two what's the prediction and then uh, i'll go after that all right so we got nyc fc and we, us playing them has been like we pretty much have gotten the upper hand on them i think in the uh, matchups i say we go for two a two oh win I want one goal from Capetti because I want if Capetti starts off strong, I mean he's done good in preseason. I want to see that, and then a second goal will either come from West, Captain Westwood or Diagre. One of those two. So one of the center mids is going to get the the second. Um, how I feel about us finishing in the season? Um, Dean Smith said himself, uh, we are two or three players from where like for what he wants. For it to kind of feel like a more of a complete squad, because obviously the players that we like uh, that have been transferred out are players that he didn't feel like. Yeah, so that that's for Dursky jersey back there. He's no. out of here. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm glad I got his jersey. That's he's one of the best. Like obviously, what was the best player that we've had, but now it's time for Capetti to step up. But no, I'm excited. Um, we have a young team, for the most part. Um, Dean Smith is apparently good with mentoring these young players become stars that's why we've done a bunch of we brought like about three or four players up from crown legacy which they've done great in mlx next pro but to be real i feel like we're going to be around the eighth eighth place um because obviously you know first year first year trying to figure out stuff um but if or if we're on the high end, if it's very possible, we could hit five or six possibly. Nah. Which, which is which 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 let's not let's not let's be serious. We we technically had that last year. We did technically have that out close last year. The reason why we kind of fell behind was because we kept getting all these draws. We weren't really getting losses, <laughs> we were getting draws, which is kind of sucked because we will go up like a score to and we let somehow we let it and then the second half we let a team come back, which kind of sucked. For me. Atlanta United plays Columbus Crew for the freaking, I don't know how many times we played them already. We play Columbus in a better era um, because, you know, we played them, what? I think we played them like early last season with a whole different team mm-hmm. and we lost six to one or five. Yeah. We lost, we got. Destroyed. It was like six to one. Yeah, we got, I did a stream on that. It, we got destroyed. This year, whole different story. We played in the playoffs. We beat them at home. Well, we well, were terrible away. We did a lot of preseason games away to get us just a little, a little bit better in away games with not a lot of fans, not a lot of our fans, a lot more of their fans. Just get us acclimated to a different setting. But I think we win. I won't do a prediction because I do not know what's going to happen. I think we get to win the first three points of the season. And then we go on March 9th and play New England Revolution. I unfortunately have to work, so I won't be able. There will be no blog for that blog for that game, but there will be a vlog on March seventeenth. I will be going to the game against Orlando City, so you guys will be getting a vlog for that. Tyler, do you have any comments you would like to say? You want to be follow? You want your app to be somewhere? Oh yeah, hey, you look. Follow your boy on Instagram. I mean, y'all don't have to follow me, but uh, or TikTok. My actually, mind, yeah, yeah, my TikTok. TikTok I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start posting some. I'm gonna try to do like some funny skits because the new uh college football game is coming out this summer. I already got one loaded up in the drafts. So I just gotta you know finish it. Um, so that my Instagram is I am underscore uh T Rich. So and that will be two H's. So I A M underscore T R I C H H. So yes, um, I'm gonna be start trying to put some stuff out there. And if you wanna follow me on Instagram. Is T dot rich, but this rich has three eighths this time. <laughs> but yeah, no. What I want to say is appreciate Lucas uh for for this definitely. Um, 
Y'all got y'all know y'all gotta comment, like, and subscribe. Get my boy. I know he's still trying to hit a certain milestone, but we trying to get this man to a thousand. Forget the next milestone. We're going, we're going for above hey, and beyond. Hey, hey, look, and I definitely, I definitely want to recommend we should definitely have more talks on the MLS and, and stuff like this. So if y'all want to see that, we should definitely, you know, me and Lucas be a good pairing. I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> Same. We do have a we do have a podcast as well. We're trying to get this man on it too. Whenever we play the uh, like say we play Charlotte or say we play Oakland's Home City Thunder or something like that. So if you guys do like that podcast, go check it out. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. It's been fun. I do like doing this. It was his idea actually. It wasn't even mine. I'm glad he did this so I could just get out of my comfort zone and do a bigger video and stuff like that. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified when I post my videos. Man, I said that fast. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I wish y'all could see me waving, but baby, <laughs> see you. <laughs> see you guys. Bro, who knew I would make it this far? They hated, they never believed me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball. I know I make it look easy. Yeah, Mayweather with the defense. I don't care what a critic got to say. I got them picking up the pieces. Yeah, Battle me, you really playing with your life. I'm about to come and run.